Hello everybody, my name's Dave and today we're going to talk about cheap Chinese vernier calipers, should you buy them and if you do, should you be careful? So, purchase one. In March 2022 I purchased some cheap vernier calipers from a well-known auction site. There are some problems that I've got listed here. The plastic case was broken. And that even the electronic see the case is broken at the end, and even the electronics after even after resetting them, when you go back to zero, they don't go back to zero. The case is broken at the end here, and for some reason they don't want to work properly. Okay, so they're now showing 90. Now we're on metric now, 310 millimeters. that's useful. Alright, so they're on zero. They're not working, they stopped working. They were working five minutes ago. Maybe they need a new, uh, maybe they need a new battery. So when you switch them on, they go to minus 8,704 Point six six millimeters. You set them to zero, and then they don't do. They don't change. And if they do, they go back to seven thousand again. I suspect the battery's flat. Um, it may well be. They were working five minutes ago. Though. Anyway, that's beside the point. So let's get it going again. Oh yeah, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> So I purchased them in March 2022, they cost me 29.57 I think, or 54, something like that. The plastic case was broken and even the electronics after resetting them, setting the reading, once moved they are out by 0.03 of a millimetre when returned to the closed position. So it doesn't matter how many times you close them and open them, it, they always point 0.003 out. They cost me $29.49 and today the same calipers are 50mm shorter at $19.95. A similar pair shown here at $159, they have similar electronics and an LCD display yet there is no mention of where they are made. Although they are 300mm in length, I have a theory that people who are looking for western made tools use the highest price filter to avoid cheap rubbish. My theory is this. The seller knows who, what people are doing, so they pitch in their cheap rubbish at the expensive end. They don't say where they are made, and they have used Western names to make them sound, or make them appear to be Western made. Here's the cat again, she likes it in the video. This is just my opinion, but there has to be some truth to, to this, to be fair. I recently did a video of Vivo Tools. Now, I'm not sponsored here these I've paid for myself but I bought a pair of Vivo calipers. Now they've got a different LCD and, and mechanism on them and they return back to zero when you use them. You turn them on, you move them out, you push them back and they go back to zero. Can you see that? Uh, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Hang on. They should go back to zero, yes, which they have. These always go to 0.003. These come with two extra lithium batteries and a, a tool for opening the uh, battery cover. You don't need a screwdriver with these. Um, I'm very happy with them actually. They, they seem very uh, good for what they are. If I could get them back in the box it would be even nicer. There we go. And then the case is not broken. So, uh, excuse me a minute, I've got to go back to my, my teleprompter has skipped on a bit too far. I'm using a different teleprompter today. So, why have you got to be careful? Oh, Mia. So, there are a lot of what they call counterfeit items out there. Well, most of them come out of China. In fact, the vast majority come out of China. 
And there's a, a Japanese uh, caliper maker called Mitu Toyo. They have a specific place on their website, which I'm going to put a link into the description below, where they talk about counterfeit products and how to check for them. And their solution is go to one of their recognized sellers and buy them from them. That's all good and well, but you're going to pay full price at that. You're not going to get a discount. But you've got to be careful because on a certain auction website, and then I'm sure there are other ones too, they profess to be from this company, but you can see little discrepancies. They're very hard to spot. They're very, very good copies, but they're very hard to spot. Now, if I was a Chinese person selling Japanese quality items, I think I would put down that they were made in Japan, but they never put that. Why don't they put made in Japan on there? Because probably because they're counterfeit, but they want you to be fooled into thinking you've bought the original thing. Now there's nothing wrong with the items they're making. I don't know why they don't just put their own name on them and sell them at that. Oh, by the way, those Vivo calipers were 22 99 and they're 150mm, whereas those are 200s. I prefer the Compact 150 because the measuring I'll be doing is all small. There's none of it is going to be large. Now, to sum up. If you end up buying cheaper tools, then be careful what you're buying. After all, you may be buying fake calipers. These calipers are Mitu Toyo and retail at $1,087.78. But are they fake or genuine? Would you even know whichever they were? They are sold out of China and there is no mention of genuine or not. So what do you think? Well, look at these. They are classed as unbranded and yet you can clearly see written on the screen is Mitu Toyo. These are $904.77. And either they are fake or they're just using the Mitutoyo image. They are shipped from China as well. And in small print it mentions that the seller ships the item in five days after receiving payment. How long does it take to make fake calipers? And why would it take five days if you weren't making them yourself? Seems a bit dodgy to me. So the description is contradictory. It states unbranded and yet below it, it shows Mitutoyo. I have included a link below to a page on Mitutoyo's website where they tell you how to check for counterfeit calipers. And their answer is just buy them from their dealers and that's fine. But here are two images. One is from a well-known auction site and the other is a Mitutoyo image from their website. Just glance at it shows, glancing at it shows a discrepancy. The auction image has two colour zero and the second zero below it, the Mitutoyo image, Mitutoyo image, does not. This is the sort of discrepancy you have to notice before parting with your thousand dollars and ending up with a fake. Just trying to help. See you on the next video. Thank you very much.